Thank you for joining us for today's webinar, which is sponsored by Wine Direct. Today's conversation is all about having a successful OMD, and we have experts with us today from UPS and Wine Direct to talk you through and prepare you for this vital and very busy part of the season. Now, before we get started, a quick technical note. Uh, this webinar is pre-recorded. However, the experts are with us in the live chat. So I encourage you, if you have questions anytime along the way, take advantage of their expertise by popping your questions into the live chat and they will answer them as we go along. Now, without further ado, let me pass this over to Andrea to get us started. Well, thanks, Kim. All right, let's get started. Um, our con our topic today is top tips for a successful OND. And I think you all know, but by OND, we just mean the really important quarter of October, November, and December. All right, so let's start with intros really quickly. Um, I'm Andrea Smalling. I'm the Chief Marketing Officer at Wine Direct. And with me, I have Allison Jackson, who is our fabulous Senior Manager of Training and Development here at Wine Direct. And we also have Shauna Fontana, the major accounts manager with us at Wine Direct um, for UPS. And then Joe Wilburn, who is the wine industry marketing manager for, for UPS. Um, so why are we even talking about OND? You know, this quarter is really important to the wine industry as a whole. You know, when you think about it, nearly 35% of direct-to-consumer sales annually happen in these three months. So, you know, obviously it's a really important time for us and we want to make sure everything goes smoothly. You know, a poor delivery experience can undo all the hard work that we do to ensure that consumers have a really great experience either at the winery or online. Um, and we want them to come back for more. You know, I was looking at a recent survey that said that 98% of consumers reported that a good delivery experience can increase loyalty for a particular business. And 84% reported that they were really unlikely to return after just one poor delivery experience. So what we don't want is for people to go through, fall in love with your wines, place that order, everything's going wonderfully, and then it arrives and they're just unhappy or it doesn't arrive and they're really unhappy. Um, and then finally, you know, I've managed DTC teams before and, you know, wineries are running very lean right now. The last thing we want are our teams to be consumed by taking up all of their time tracking down shipments, especially during this really important time of the year. So we want everything to run smoothly and efficiently so we can have just a great experience during the holidays. All right, so what are our top tips? I'll just go through a quick agenda and then I'm going to hand it off. Um, the tips in general are plan ahead. You know, we want urgent requests to be an exception, not a rule. We want to optimize our inventory management to keep track of that precious wine. We want to maximize delivery visibility and flexibility so that consumer satisfaction and we want to keep our teams happy. And then we want to use sharp, smart shipping strategies so that we're shipping everything efficiently. And then finally, we want to partner for success. We want to rely on experts to make everyone's lives easier. So let's get to the details. Um, our number one tip for a successful OND is to plan ahead. Allison, what are your, some of your suggestions around this? Thank you, Andrea. Well, I would say for planning ahead, it first starts with forecasting and communication. And this can be done at the level of the winery as well as the winery with the fulfillment partnership. You want to understand your inventory as far as how much product is going to be used for your busy season and make sure that inventory is housed at the correct warehouse. Forecasting is super important in terms of understanding what you might look at as far as the flow of your busy season and as well as communicating that to your fulfillment house so they also understand expectations as well. Also, you want to consider potential weather uh, disruptions. Using the Wine Direct uh, Fulfillment Center, you can utilize our weather hold feature. And by doing that, you would be able to place specific states on hold until you are comfortable with shipping with those states. Alternatively, you can also put communication in your consumer emails and such, letting them know that due to weather, some orders may be placed on hold or looking at weather is an important part in terms of shipping successfully and ensuring the integrity remains consistent when delivering a package. And finally, communication, again, going back to those large projects such as corporate gifting, gift sets, or any sort of holiday programs. Again, you just want to set those expectations with not only your front of house people, but also with your uh, fulfillment house and any account management so that they understand what packaging is needed, 
what the actual um, compartments, components of the actual gift set are, and everyone is on the same page as far as expectations for that. Excellent. And since they've been through years and years, obviously, of holiday deliveries, UPS really has this down to a science. Shauna, what can you tell us about UPS over the holidays? Well, thank you, Andrea. I'll tell you this, planning ahead is key, key, key for a win, win, win. Um, and this year, for, for the first time since 2019, there are four fewer shipping days between Thanksgiving and Christmas. So we wanna be sure to take that into account. Um, planning early. So to maximize your holiday sales, we recommend running your promotions early in the process. Early is key. In addition, um, here are some recommendations for some of the last days to ship. Um, this year, again, it's a little wonky. Christmas falls on a Wednesday. So for ground shipping, we're going to recommend that Friday the 13th might be your last day to ship to ensure a package would arrive by Friday the 20th. For a three-day select, we would recommend that Tuesday the 17th be the best option to ensure your package arrives on the 20th. And for second day, the 18th, for, for Friday delivery as well. And then we have the option if you needed a Saturday delivery for some of those exceptions, um, are those last minute requests that might come in before the holiday, you can go ahead and ship those for a Saturday delivery as well. Excellent. I was just going to say that um, listening to both you, Shauna and Allison, it really seems that communication is key and it's communication kind of internally, you know, within the winery teams, but also really outward communication towards the consumer. And I know for me personally, who tends to be a little bit last minute when it comes to holiday shopping, I love to be able to go onto a website and see this information up front and know that, okay, I really need to choose two day shipping or overnight, or maybe I have time for ground, but having that all up front, I think is key so that then I'm not, you know, taking up your team's time by calling um, unnecessarily. So yeah, absolutely communication. Um, okay, so on to our second tip, which is all around inventory management. So one of the things that we want to avoid always, um, but especially during this time of year when there's so much wine being kind of shipped around and moved around um, within fulfillment centers or internally if you self-fulfill, is we want to just always be able to keep track of our wine. The last thing you want is not knowing where your wine is, losing wine temporarily because it's somewhere in the warehouse that you weren't expecting it. You know, these things are all really, really important. Um, Allison, what are some considerations here? Thank you, Andrea. Well, like they say, inventory sitting on shelves is money sitting on shelves. However, if you don't have enough of that inventory, then you run the risk of not being able to fulfill consumers' orders in time for them to arrive for the holiday season. So it's very important to use any sort of historical data prior shipping seasons, all of that information is there for your benefit to give you an idea of the volume that you are gonna be shipping to. All this information may seem very robust and confusing on a wider uh, frame, but if you narrow it down, it really is tons of really valuable information to be able to understand a specific shipping season and forecast and be able to really narrow down your management expectations for inventory for that season. Also, it's important to note that if you do fulfill out of different warehouses or if you self-fulfill as well of different locations that you understand, of course, the locations of all your inventory in all those house uh, houses, if you will. If you are a wine direct client, as you may know, all of your inventory can be looked at at both a holistic scale of all of your warehouses, or it can be simplified by location as well. So you always have a hand of kind of what is being uh, housed where and being able to anticipate that for your season. Excellent. Yeah, visibility is the key. I've been in situations before where we thought we had wine to sell through a certain channel, but turns out that the tasting room sold it while we weren't looking or, you know, a club member came in and ordered a bunch of it. And, you know, being able to have visibility at all times, no matter how you fulfill, is, is really key for sure. Um, all right. So 
Tip number three is, you know, really important, both in terms of maximizing consumer satisfaction, but also minimizing returns, which are expensive and no fun for anyone. Um, as we all know, you know, Amazon Prime changed the world in terms of, you know, consumer expectations when it comes to shipping. Um, visibility is so important for wine, especially because an adult needs to be there to sign for shipments. So it's really incredibly frustrating to miss a shipment. Um, you know, you're expecting that the wine's going to show up at a certain time. So you're having some friends over, you want to be able to share this wine that you're so excited about. And, oh, oops, it showed up while you weren't there and it got, you know, returned or it got sent somewhere else and now you have to chase it down. So really being able to understand what to expect with a shipment is, is key. Um, Allison, why don't you kick this one off for us? Absolutely. So I'm incredibly excited and proud to share because of our partnership with UPS, we have hugely advantageous features available in our platform to help mitigate and lessen returns or any issues when an order is out in uh, the tracking world, if you will. First, again, you want to set those expectations with your consumer on either your website or notification emails that they receive. Once again, if they reside in a specific state that may be on hold due to weather, if you inform them of that first and foremost, then they can once again plan their gifting time around that. If they're gifting to someone in a hot state or what have you, that's very important. One of the first uh, features that I love to talk about in our system is the exception report. When this is pulled, this is going to bring about orders that have shipped that uh, are out in the elements, if you will, that have hit one or more exceptions from the carrier and best of all is you can expand what those exceptions are and read through each and every one of those tracking lifetime points. When using UPS, this is going to bring over the exact detail of tracking that you would find on the UPS site. So because of our partnership, you can read through exactly what those trackings and exceptions are, and you can get a hold of your consumer or uh, correct whatever error it may be prior to that third failed delivery attempt and prior to it becoming a return. There are other tracking tools, once again, such as our email templates that you can set up, or you can also direct the consumer to go into My UPS, which I'm sure Shauna will be speaking on, and other flexible options that they can do, such as collecting at different pickup points and things like that. Last but not least, I can't I would be remiss if I didn't mention the ability to reroute UPS packages directly from our website. So yes, if you have received information that an order needs to be re redirected to a different address within the state, you can jump in here and you have that option to be able to redirect directly from our screen once that's confirmed to go straight to the carrier to make that change. So again, time is of the essence when orders have been shipped out and there are tons of uh, abilities for you to ensure a successful delivery is met. That's that's fantastic. And, you know, just to note that some of these actions are, you know, wine direct fulfillment specific because we've worked really hard to automate and make easy for you, for our clients, the best, you know, make it so easy for them to, to um, do these actions. However, um, with UPS directly, there are also some things that can be done. And I think the key here is really to give that flexibility and visibility to your consumers, no matter how you're shipping and no matter you know, who your fulfillment partner is. Um, so Joe, why don't you take us through some of the options that are available to anyone who's shipping with UPS? Yeah, absolutely. Thanks, Andrea. So, um, you know, really what it comes down to is, is with the packages, you want to let your customers take control. Uh, we've had uh, several surveys uh, over the years, and one of the stats that continues to come up is that 89% of the shoppers are they're really interested in receiving email and, and text delivery alerts uh, to know approximately uh, the day and the time of delivery. So here enter UPS My Choice. UPS My Choice, uh, it has over 73 million uh, users, and it really offers a, a better customer experience. Uh, there's a lot of fewer uh, failed deliveries, and it can enhance the customer loyalty. There's also a portion within the UPS My Choice that's uh, with any package that's uh, called Follow My Delivery. And, and here's how it kind of works is the customer will receive an email on the day that it's scheduled to receive uh, the, that they're able to, to get the eligible package. And then they can click on the Follow My Delivery uh, link uh, in that email. And with that, it brings up a live map 
uh, that shows the, the, lo the location of the package being delivered to re in relation to the end destination. And that could be their house or if it's uh, if they chose to have it go to one of our access points, uh, it will show in uh, in the relation to the access point as well. And then, um, of course, the step four is when it's when it's delivered. So with the delivery uh, aspect of it, again, UPS My Choice, that's where it comes in on the follow my delivery alerts. It can offer enhanced tracking and visibility. It can also uh, increase accuracy with the real time maps. Uh, if we could go to the next slide. Um, follow my delivery again is map based. It is a tracking tool. It gives visibility to the end consumer. Uh, the consumer, they can control when, how, where they want to receive the packages. And those alerts, they're usually sent the day of delivery, anywhere between 8 and 9, 9, uh, 9 a.m. Uh, delivery time, local time. So I'll, uh, I'll wrap it up with a, with a scenario. Shauna, she, she has some young kids. And those kids are in school, you know, all day. And they get out around 2.30. And she needs to go pick them up. And with the pickup comes, now here comes her wine package. And she needs to go pick up her kids. Well, she can hit the follow my delivery link, see that the package car is a couple streets over from her. She can hop in her car. She has her driver's license with her because you need it to drive. And she can find the package car and knock on the door and ask the delivery driver if she can receive her package. She shows her ID delivery driver uh, from UPS uh, verifies uh, age and the address and makes sure that match the package and then delivers the package she, she could sign for it and she goes about her way and she can go and pick up her kids sometimes. So that's that's one of the instances um, I've heard that uh, in my experience uh, that I've heard that happen time and time again where uh, customers come find us, come find UPS and the driver when they're using the follow my delivery. And I'll uh, I'll turn it to Shauna to give a little bit more about the My Choice. Thank you for that, Joe. As an extension to WineDirect's brand, we of course agree that customer satisfaction is key. So the customer experience is so incredibly important. My Choice and Follow My Delivery are uh, are some tools that you can use to ensure that you and your customers have a very successful holiday season. So again, like Joe mentioned. My choice allows customers to take action, stay in the know, and stay in control of their wine delivery. So, and we can go to the next slide too, please. So you can see here, here are some of the features of the My Choice solution. Um, for one, we can redirect an unlimited amount of deliveries to access points with UPS. These access point locations, we have over 10,000 of them and they include the UPS stores, Michaels, Advanced Auto, as well as some independent local retailers. And we've got over 10,000 within about five miles of the population. So they're, they're very easy for your customers to get to in the event that they're not gonna be home. So complimentary for Wine Direct customers, we allow you to go ahead and redirect your package to an access point in the event that you're not going to be home. This will help to ensure a successful first delivery attempt. Through UPS My Choice, you can also request a will call, hold for pickup if that's more convenient for you and your customers. And also you can deliver on another day. Perhaps you work at the office certain days of the week and are not home. You can go ahead and coordinate, plan that special day um, for the package to deliver on the day that you will be at home. And again, this is also a complimentary service for Wine Direct customers through our UPS partnership. Um, for UPS My Choice, it's you can access it on ups.com as well as on your mobile. Just search for UPS on your mobile device and feel free to download it from there. Another critical piece, though, with UPS My Choice is to always, always, always ensure that you are getting your customer's email address. We also have a function for non-My Choice customers. As long as you are including that email address in the shipment manifest, the customer will receive an email alert letting them know that the package is coming on the day of the delivery. Um, so we, we, while we recommend UPS My Choice, we have the free version and the premium version. 
Um, there are lots of options and tools out there available for you to ensure that that first delivery is successful. But just remember, always include that email address. Excellent. I, I'm a huge fan of UPS My Choice. Um, while there are 73 million users, which shocked me the first time you told me that, I'm from Canada. That's more than twice the population of the entire country. Um, but I still think that, you know, I still run into people who aren't aware of it and don't use it. So I think, you know, including that email so that at least the, the very minimum they get that tracking information is huge. But also, I think, you know, where possible, if wineries can include UPS My Choice information in shipping FAQs or somewhere on their site and let people know that it's free and they're going to get all the information that they really want, um, I think that can be really, really helpful or even in your shipping confirmation emails. But I think there's a lot of opportunity still to, you know, make sure that our wine consumers, you know, understand that it's available to them. Great. Um, okay, so the next tip is really, you know, focusing in on those shipping strategies, um, because there's so many options out there that we want to make sure that we are offering the right ones to our consumers. Allison, do you want to talk through this? Sure, absolutely. So the first thing you want to do when it comes to smart shipping strategies is understanding essentially what you are charged as a client and a winery, and in turn, what you're going to turn around and charge to your consumer. So by setting those up correctly the first time around, you can make sure that your season is going to fulfill with the correct fee, if you will, for those specific packages being sent out based on the weight, based on the location, uh, based on the specific zone in which the consumer or the, the shipment is going to. Um, you also want to open up full availability to different shipping levels, if you will, of obviously we use partner with UPS. That includes UPS two-day, UPS overnight, any sort of temperature control program. So you wanna make sure all of those are configured into your e-commerce or your point of sale so that when an order is processed, they have that option to select those two day or expedited service levels. However, based on where they are located, you might find that ground service is actually more affordable and uh, the quickest to get the package to the location. Uh, if it is going to anywhere in California, for example, ground will get it there faster than, you know, two day or something like that. So utilizing the maps that UPS uh, offers on their website, as well as maps that we offer on ours, time and transit, holiday shipping schedules, all of that is there for your advantage to be able to take that information and plan accordingly. Excellent. Shauna, do you want to talk about the shipping speeds for UPS? Sure, I'd love to. Um, yes, if we take a look at the map, um, we can see there are two strategically located locations which Wine Direct houses the majority of their wine and ships from. From these two locations, you can see the footprint on delivery is is, is overwhelming. I mean, more, more than 90% of UPS ground volume is delivered in three days or less. And that's using our ground service again. Yes, I said ground. Um, so, and UPS has done this by investing in our network. We've invested in capacity and automation. We now have eight regional super hubs and six air hubs. We have weekend services available where we're delivering on Saturdays as well to some residential locations. Over 90% of the population can receive deliveries on Saturday as well. Um, so we are ready to deliver to your customers. We're ready to get there fast and we're ready to make sure we give the best experience possible for you and your customers. That's so great. And I think the, one of the reasons we wanted to kind of include this as a tip is that we talk often about how shipping is often the biggest um, barrier to a wine consumer kind of placing that order, right? It's it's a lot of money generally. It's the biggest kind of cost component in direct-to-consumer wine sales. Um, and as a result, we often say to, to wineries, if you can discount shipping, that's going to get you a lot farther than, for example, 10% off of your wine. You know, you can kind of keep your wine at your frontline price, which is really cool because you want to protect that brand and then give consumers the discount on the shipping aspect, which is really what they're looking for. And it's been proven in many, many studies that that is the key. However, um, what you don't need to do is, for example, 
you provide free two day shipping within California, because the reality is you're going to be able to get the wine there quickly by ground. So we just want to make sure that people aren't in, in an effort to really provide the best service possible, which everyone wants to do, but you don't want to spend more money than you need to spend. So you just want to plan that out really efficiently and understand that ground shipping is very, very impactful um, for most of the country, um, unless they just really, really need it there, you know, super, super fast. Um, so our final tip is really just about partnering for success. You know, as I mentioned before, the last thing we want, as much as we love talking about fulfillment and shipping, the last thing we want is our teams to spend all of their time managing this aspect of your business. You know, a lot of times we're hiring um, hospitality people and salespeople, and we want them kind of out there interacting with consumers and talking about the wine itself. Um, we also know that wineries are running lean right now. You know, we don't have massive teams and we don't have time to have them, you know, sitting on the phone with the consumer trying to track down the wine that they're, you know, looking for. So, you know, choosing partners that are going to really take that weight off of your shoulders, I think is, is really key. So, you know, shameless plug for Wine Direct, of course. Um, we have worked very hard and invested a lot of money in technology to ensure that we can deliver deliver the wine in the shape that you want as quickly as you want. And it's going to kind of continue that amazing experience that consumers had with your wines that caused them to order it in the first place. And then it's all backed up by a very large and experienced support staff who are just really um, invested in partnering with you to make sure that this all happens smoothly. So just wanted to kind of let you know that, you know, choosing a partner is going to just, I think, really help you not have to worry about these things because no one, frankly, wants to. Um, and then Shauna or Joe, do you want to just chat through quickly um, what UPS has to offer through the holidays? Yes, absolutely. Thanks again, Andrea. Um, so for six years straight, UPS has been ranked as the leader in the industry of on-time performance. So you can see that we've been very consistent as far as our service to our customers, and that's each year. And not only that, but the, the months in between. So we are proven to be reliable. We're here for you this holiday season, and we are here to help make sure that this 2024 is a success. Excellent. Excellent. Well, thank you all. I mean, really to recap um, on our top tips, we want to ensure that all that the entire higher industry just has a very, very successful holiday period. And that's whether you work with Wine Direct and UPS, or if you self-fulfill, whatever you use, I think these are tips that everyone should be considering. Um, so we want to, you know, plan ahead. We want to make sure that we know where our wine is and when and have that super organized. We want to really make sure we're communicating with our consumers to maximize that delivery visibility and flexibility so that they've got an amazing delivery experience. We want to use smart shipping strategies so that we're managing our costs efficiently. And then ultimately, we want to partner for success. And, you know, Wine Direct, we're here for you. Please reach out if you want to talk further. I know UPS is a great partner to a lot of a lot of wineries in the industry. And they, you know, have been with us for a long time and are continuing to be here for everyone. But we just, you know, want to wish everyone an amazingly successful OND.